Today we're going to start our unit on literary genres. First of all, what is a genre? Genre is the word we use to classify a work of literature. There are three main categories of genres, fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. Our school library is organized by genre. We have a section for fiction and a section for nonfiction. The fiction section is divided by subgenres. Let's start by talking about some of the subgenres of fiction. The first subgenre of fiction we'll talk about is realistic fiction, which includes realistic characters and events that could happen in real life. Here are three novels that are classified as realistic fiction. The first novel, Wonder, is about a 10-year-old boy living in New York City who was born with a facial deformity that makes it difficult for him to make friends. The second novel, Holes, is about a young man named Stanley who's sent to Camp Green Lake, a reform camp for boys that requires inmates to dig holes in a dry lake bed every day to build character. The third novel, Fish in a Tree, is about a girl in sixth grade whose struggles to read make her the target of the class bully. Each of these novels include realistic characters and events that could happen in real life. The second subgenre of fiction we'll talk about is historical fiction, which takes place in the past. Historical events are usually accurate, but characters are often made up. Here are three novels that are classified as historical fiction. The first novel, Allies, takes place on D-Day during World War II. The story is told from multiple characters' points of view, each of which play an important role in the fight to bring down Hitler and the Axis powers. The second novel, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, focuses on the hardships of the Logans, a black farming family in Mississippi during the Great Depression. The third novel, One Crazy Summer, is set in the 1960s. The novel focuses on the Black Panther movement in the context of one African-American family. Each of these novels take place in the past and include accurate historical events, World War II, the Great Depression, and the Civil Rights Movement, but have made up characters. The third subgenre of fiction we'll talk about is fantasy fiction. It's a genre in which the plot could not have happened in the real world, involving fantastic elements such as magic and talking animals. Here are three novels that are classified as fantasy fiction. The first novel, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, tells the story about four siblings who enter a magic wardrobe that leads them into the land of Narnia. The second novel, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, follows Harry Potter, a young wizard who discovers his magical her heritage on his 11th birthday when he receives a letter of acceptance to Hogwarts, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The third novel, Gregor the Overlander, is about the adventures of an 11-year-old boy named Gregor who falls through a grate in the laundry room of his apartment building and is hurtled into the dark underland. This underland is populated by spiders, rats, and giant cockroaches who coexist uneasily with humans. Each of these novels include plots that could not have happened in the real world and include fantastic elements such as magic and talking animals.
The fourth subgenre of fiction we'll talk about is science fiction, which is a type of fantasy that includes science and technology and is often set in the future. Many stories include machines, robots, and or aliens. Here are three novels that can be categorized as science fiction. The first novel, The Giver, follows an 11-year-old boy, Jonas, who lives in a futuristic society that has eliminated all pain, fear, war, and hatred. The second novel, The City of Ember, is the story about an underground city threatened by aging infrastructure. Lena and her friend Dune follow clues left behind by the original builders of the city, doctors, scientists, and architects, to, sa to safety in the outside world. The third novel, A Wrinkle in Time, is the story of Meg Murray, a high school-aged girl who is transported on an adventure through time and space with her younger brother Charles and her friend Calvin to rescue her father, a gifted scientist from the evil forces that hold him prisoner on another planet. Each of these novels include elements of science and technology and have futuristic settings. The fifth subgenre of fiction we'll talk about is mystery. A mystery is a suspenseful story about a puzzling event that is not solved until the end of the story. Here are three novels that can be categorized as mystery. The first novel, The Mysterious Benedict Society, is about a group of children with extraordinary gifts and talents. They are recruited by the mysterious Mr. Benedict, the society's figurehead who suffers from narcolepsy to infiltrate an evil institute run by his despicable twin brother. The second novel, The Westing Game, features a plot that centers around the will of an eccentric millionaire. The named beneficiaries of the billionaire's will must play a game to discover who murdered him in order to inherit his fortune. The third novel, Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library, is about 12 seventh graders who get to spend the night in the local library designed by the world famous game creator, Luigi Limoncello. They're given 24 hours to find the secret exit and win the prize. The final subgenre of fiction that we'll talk about is traditional literature, which are stories that are passed down from one generation to another in different cultures. Types of traditional literature include folk tales, fables, myths, fairy tales, legends, and tall tales. Examples of traditional literature include the legends of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, the mythical tales of the Greek and Roman gods, Native American myths and legends, fairy tales such as Rumpelstiltskin and Little Red Riding Hood, Aesop's fables such as the tortoise and the hare and the ant and the grasshopper, and American tall tales such as Paul Bunyan, John Henry, Davy Crockett, and Pecos Bill. Now that we've discussed many of the subgenres of fiction, let's talk about our second main, main genre category, poetry. Poetry is verse written to create a response of thought and feeling from the reader, often using rhythm and rhyme. There are many forms of poetry and we'll spend an entire unit both analyzing poetry and writing poetry during the spring semester. An example of a poem that follows a more traditional rhythm and rhyme scheme 
is The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. You can see that the words are separated into stanzas, kind of like paragraphs, and feature rhyming words at the end of the lines, like would, stood, could, and fair, where, and there. Finally, our third main genre category is nonfiction or informational texts, which are texts that provide factual information to readers about topics such as sports, animals, history, science, weather, geography, space, and careers. Examples of this genre include books like 10 True Tales, Heroes of 9-11, Where is the White House, and Red Pandas. Subgenres of nonfiction include biography and autobiography. In a biography, the author tells the story of a real person's life. In an autobiography, the person tells the story of his or her own life. Here are some examples of biography and autobiography. The first novel, Smile, is an autobiographical graphic novel about the author's own childhood as a sixth grader who has an accident that causes her to need braces and headgear. She also tells about experiencing a major earthquake, boy confusion, and friendship woes. The second book, Jane Goodall, Animal Scientist, is a graphic biography which describes the life of Jane Goodall from her childhood into adulthood. The third book, Lives of Extraordinary Women, is a compilation of biographies written about 20 of the most influential influential women in history, queens, warriors, prime ministers, first ladies, and revolutionary leaders, among others. This concludes our overview of the three main genre categories, fiction, poetry, and nonfiction. What genre will you read next?